Hi, we are from Group 1 and this is our Fast 610 group presentation video. Enjoy! Let's proceed to question 1A. So based on the information given, since Bu Century Berhad acquired more than 50% of the issued share capital of Exquisite Berhad and Miskin Berhad, therefore, Exquisite Berhad and Miskin Berhad is the subsidiaries of Bu Century Berhad. So the accounting treatment for both of the subsidiaries uh, for consolidating the financial statement is using the acquisition method. So the acquisition method is applied uh, on the date when the acquirer, which is the Bu Century Berhad, uh, effectively obtains control. In this case, the date of acquisition for Exquisite Bahad is on 1st January 2016, while Amazkin Bahad is on 1st March 2018. So besides that, this century Bahad uh, should measure and recognize the constitution transferred, the identifiable assets acquired, liabilities assumed and NCI to get a goodwill or bargain purchase. To calculate the goodwill or bargain purchase, you need to add the NCI with the consideration transferred, deduct with FVNA, which is con uh, the product of uh, identifiable asset uh, acquired, uh, minus with the uh, liabilities assumed. For questions 1B, we need to calculate whether it will get bargain purchase or goodwill for acquisites per height. Okay, firstly, we need to add it between the CT and NCI. CT is RM224 million, which is the investment of Bucetric per height in acquisite per height. It will be added with 56 million, which is 20%, is, which is NCI percentage, times with 200 million, which is the OSC issued by acquisite per height and times we are at YG and 40 cents, which is the market price of Exquisite Berhad. CT and NCI will be added and then will be deducted with fair value net asset, that of acquisition, which is 1st January 2016. The items consist in fair value net asset in ordinary share capital, RM200 million. For other reserve, RM45 million. For return profit is RM12 million. Then we will also have ARR for leasehold property, which is the difference between fair value and carry amount is RM70 million for fair value and RM12 million for carry amount. The difference will be stated as ARR leasehold property. CT plus NCI and minus with fair value net asset we will get goodwill which is 18 million then we need to uh, we need to find impairment goodwill which is 10 percent times with 18 million and we will get 1.8 million the goodwill need to minus with the impairment goodwill which is 1.8 million and we will get goodwill at 16.2 million the nci 56 million will be stated at column NCI and then the impairment goodwill 1.8 million will be stated under group with the profit column. Okay, we move on to Meskin Sarahat. We will get by purchase of 1.5 million. It costs of considered transfer of 100 million. Uh, the Meow Sentry Sarahat paid to Meskin Sarahat to acquire 60 percent of issued issued share capital. Next, we will plus non non contributory interest at fair value, which is one one get twenty five cents times with SI SI interest, which is forty percent times four hundred million. Then we will get two hundred million. We will minus uh, fair value net asset. It consists of ordinary share capital in Meskin Sarahat amounted to 400 million and other reserve of 10 million. Since there is no change and no adjustment made, uh, so we can we take the carry forward of other reserve and retail profit 
of 86.5 million, we we take the brought forward of retail profit 69 million plus with 2 over 12 times 105 million since uh, since the biocentric bio biocentric uh, made a purchase on 1st March 2018 and the ARR for the brand amounted to 2 million and we will get bargain purchase of 108.5 and we need to transfer to group retail profit in CSOP. Thank you for watching.